I did want to do a quick response to um, the topic of censorship. And what I wanted to say, which I've pretty much said in chat already tonight, is I feel like censorship has its place. And as many others have already stated in the chat that, you know, if you want to have a freedom of speech and you want to express yourself in a certain way, and as many others have pointed out in the chat as well, is that you have to be willing to accept the consequences of what you're putting out. If you're putting out something and you're looking to draw attention or provoke emotion, you know, whatever that is, if you're willing to accept that this thing is tied to your name, whatever content that is, you know, and right now, since we're, we're on the subject of rap, because this is a rap group, um, I would say if you're going to put something out at the end of the day, when you wake up, or just even thinking about life long term, I think that's something else that a lot of us don't think about. The reason why I don't, I'm not across social media. You're not going to find me on Facebook. You're not going to find me all over the internet. I don't comment on YouTube videos. It's because every time you comment, every time you release something, and I do have videos on YouTube, but I can honestly say what I'm putting out, I can stand by long term. So, the question is, yeah, what you're putting out today, you may stand by it today, but what about a year from now, two years from now? And if you're a person who is forever growing and learning, who's to say you won't find what you put out then, you know, um, something that you might want to take back or take down or delete. And and once you put something out there, you can't remove it from everybody's memory. And you and I, Cole, we just had this conversation talking about Eminem recently and how he performed with Elton John, you know, and he did do all the quote unquote, you know, gay slurs and different things in his music previously, but he kind of wanted to backtrack and get in good with that that audience, you know, or that group of people. He wanted to show, hey, I don't completely disrespect you guys. It was no harm, you know, done. I put it out because it was entertainment or it was music or whatever. But, you know, this is what I'm doing at the time. And I want to just come back and say, hey, I respect you, you know, for who you are. So that that that's what the performance was all about with him and Elton John. So with everything I'm saying, just to hit on those keynotes, is number one, if you're going to put something out, are you going to be able to stand by it long term? Number two, everything that we do, there is a consequence. Small, big or small, everything we do and say, it provokes and makes people feel a certain way. It hurts people's feelings or it may make somebody happy. It may mm -hmm. make someone smile. You know, whatever. We, we draw that emotion. We're human beings. We're emotional people. You know, so I feel like all of that has to be considered. And yes, we can do whatever we want. Even those in countries who are censored, you know, you can make a decision to go against the grain. They may suffer the consequences. People are getting locked up, going to jail, getting shot, getting killed. You know, whatever the case may be, people are making a decision to stand on what they feel is right for them to do. Here in America, we can do that. We can do whatever we want. But like I posed in the chat is the question is, should we? Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Now, and I know I'm going on. Hang in there with me, y'all. I'm almost done. <laughs> so me as an individual, I, my favorite artist used to be Missy Elliott. That's the truth. I used to bang with her. That The CD, any if she was coming out with anything, I had it back in the day. I thought Missy was creative. I still do. But as I grew older and became a, you know, began to live my life as a woman and not as a teen, I felt like what Missy was putting out wasn't for my personality and mentality as I've gotten older. You know, so I'm very selective as to who I listen to and what I allow to come into my space. Because just like I tell Cole, and I'm going to end on this final note, you're either being influenced or you're influencing either the two, you know? And so if you're gonna put something out there, the question is what type of audience are you influencing? And there is some darkness out here, 
there's some light out here. You're either treading on those two sides. And some people want to tread in the middle, but it's very hard to tread in the middle because usually those people aren't honest. So you're either one or the other. And Cole and I discuss this all the time. I respect people who say I'm in darkness. At least you can admit it, <laughs> you know, and I know not to, um, you know, participate in certain things. And then I respect people who also stay on their side of light. So I think as um, someone else said on video, I forgot who it was, there is a level of respect there for anybody who decides to do anything. I respect any type of content people want to release and put out. If I don't want to listen to it, I just don't, you know, but I respect your space and what I put it, bring it to my home and what I put on my radio is up to me and vice versa. You know, so at the end of the day, I respect it. But I said all of that to say, I think that we all should con consider greatly, period, regardless of who we are, what we do, what we put out, because it may not represent us in the long run, or we may not want it to. So um, that's just something to think about. And I'm going to end on that.